Your name, sir? Steve. Hi, Steve. How are you doing? Would you like to help me out with a plane? We'll just pick one out. Good, good. And again, your name, sir? Joe. Right, Joe. Joe I got it. Joe, would you also pick one out? Anyone? Look at it. Okay. And uh, Terry. I remember that. Terry, would you also pick one out? Now, Terry, I've got to be honest with you. I want to make sure that your card is different from any card in the pack and any pack in the universe. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to actually sign your card with this magic marker in big, bold letters across the face of the card, just the way Dennis and Dan, that lovely team a little earlier, did. Okay, great job. Magic marker back first. Now, Steve, did you look at your card? Yes, I did. And you remember that card is? Yes. That's important. Would you place your card back here? Okay, we'll just shuffle that, losing that into the pack. And Joe. Would you place your card back? And you're not going to confuse your card with any other card in the pack. Am I no. correct? OK, that's good. And would you blow on to make sure the ink is dry? Is it dry? Yeah. OK, let's place the card back. Now, did you folks over here get to see uh, Terry's card? I showed them. Oh, you did show them. OK, that's important. Well, it doesn't really make a difference, if you really think about it, because it's the only card that's signed in the pack. Am I right, Susan? I thought so. Uh, I, I feel so confident that I'll be able to find all three cards, and I'm going to bet all the money right here in my wallet that I'll be able to find all three cards. Now, Susan, you have an honest face. You're not a banker, are you? Mm -hmm. You have an honest face anyway. So would you hold out your hands flat like so? Keep your hand and the wallet right there for the next two minutes and don't move. Sort of like the Statue of Liberty right there. That's a beautiful job. Hold on to that wallet. Don't move. Now watch this. Do you remember what your card was, Joe? Yes, I do. Good. On the count of three, what I want you to do is to shout out loud so that everyone here can hear you. I know you can do it. <laughs> okay, the name, the identity of your card. And when you do that, again, even though your card is lost and shuffle in this pack, when you shout out loud the name of your card, your card will jump out of the center of the deck, do a quadruple somersault in the air, land right here in my left hand. You guys are going to love this, right? This is great. On the count of three, watch. One, two, three. Go ahead. King of hearts. King of hearts. Come out. Come out flying. Wow. There it is, wow. ladies and gentlemen. The king of hearts comes out flying. That's, of course, card number one. Uh, Steve, your card was not the King of Hearts. What was your card? Jack of Spades. Are you serious? Yeah. Watch this. The King of Hearts, as it visibly changes Whoa. into the Whoa. Jack of Spades. As they say back home in New York, this kid's hot. That's a card number two. One more card to go. <laughs> one more card to go. That's, of course, Terry's card. And Terry's card is the only card that's signed in the pack. I love that. In the pack. As a matter of fact, I feel so confident at this point that I'll be able to find, all, uh, find Terry's card that I'm going to actually do it while blindfolding this pack uh -huh. of playing cards. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Serious. Watch. Right there. To the count of three. Watch. One, two. No, I don't think this is going to work. One. You know why? Because there are no cards. What? There are no cards. Gee, I don't know if you guys should applaud at that part. <laughs> because <laughs> I didn't find Terry's card. Uh -oh. I got Joe's card and Steve's card, so you're out of contention. You don't get any of the money. Oh. Looks like you got the big bucks, Terry. <laughs> but before you collect your winnings, would you be so kind as to share the identity of the card? The four, all... four clubs. No, no, come on, don't tease me. This is my act. Seriously, what was the name? The four clubs. Oh, the card you signed your name across the face of? Right. The With four? The whole, yeah, the four clubs. Are you serious? Yes. This is too bizarre to be true, folks. This is something that most definitely borders on the macabre, if you know what I mean. Because before coming out here this evening, I placed her prediction inside of my wallet. Now, Susan, you've been holding on to that wallet since the beginning of this, Regina. Am I correct? That's right. And at no point have I come to you. Am I correct? That's right. It's important that you remember that. It's more important that we all remember that. May I please have the wallet back now? So I love this part because I feel so Vegas-like, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. <laughs> Inside of the wallet, folks, I just happen to have a zippered compartment. Can you see that? Yeah. Terry, would you be so kind as to open up my zipper there? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, come on. It's a family show. It's a family show. It's the zipper of the wallet. Inside of the zippered compartment, I happen to have a, my prediction card. Yeah. Yes, indeed. My prediction card, the four of clubs. Oh. But wait, but wait, but wait, before that thunderous applause subsides. The miracle does not end there, because it's not just any four of clubs. Notice that this happened to have Terry's signature Whoa. right across the face. Wow. I, thank you very much. 